Our solar system, a small group of planets floating around a star we call the Sun. And in all of the known universe, we know of only one planet that can sustain life. Earth, the water planet. Without water, our planet would be lifeless, barren, and desolate. Oceans cover 71% of the globe. They impact our climate and generate oxygen. They are a primary source of protein for a billion people and are integral to economies all over the world. Today, our oceans are on the verge of irreversible collapse. 90% of the big fish, tuna, swordfish, and sharks are already gone. 29% of the world's fisheries have collapsed. And if things don't change, scientists believe all of the world's fisheries could be in danger of collapse within a few decades. And yet, enormous amounts of untargeted or unwanted fish are thrown back in the water, dead or dying. At least 16 billion pounds each year worldwide. Huge swaths of thousand-year-old coral reefs and other irreplaceable ocean habitat that sea life depend on are being dragged, bulldozed, and destroyed by multi-ton bottom trawlers in a desperate, high-tech search for more fish. And local fishermen, whose catch fed their families for generations, are driven out of business because there aren't enough fish left to catch. Not only are too many fish taken out of the oceans, those that remain are being poisoned by toxins like mercury. PCBs from industrial and municipal waste accumulate in small fish and move up the food chain to larger fish and right into our seafood. Some dolphins have been shown to be so full of toxins that they would be labeled hazardous waste under government regulations. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration now warns women of childbearing age and children to eat no more than six ounces of tuna fish a week and to eat no swordfish whatsoever, because doing so can cause mercury poisoning and neurological damage in babies and kids. Virtually every day, there's news about the impact of climate change and the increasing amount of carbon dioxide in the oceans. From whale deaths due to lack of food, to the impending disintegration of coral reefs and other shelled creatures at the base of the food chain from an increasingly acidic ocean, to the disappearance of Arctic sea ice and cold water species because of warming ocean temperatures. The global shipping fleet is one of the largest sources of unregulated carbon dioxide emissions. Only six countries release more CO2 than the global fleet. The good news is that it's not too late. We can solve these problems. We can save our oceans. Founded in 2001, Oceana is the largest international ocean protection group in the world. Oceana is headquartered in Washington, D.C., with offices in New England, New York, Florida, Alaska, Oregon, California, Belize, Chile, Spain, and in Brussels, the home of the European Union. We have more than 300,000 supporters and members in over 150 countries. Our worldwide team of scientists and economists study and report on the conditions of everything from fish populations to mercury levels from fish markets to what's safe for your child's lunch. This scientific information enables us to work with governments, corporations, and fishermen around the world to create and enforce laws and policies that will help restore the ocean's health. Oceana goes where the oceans need us, from the Atlantic to the Pacific, from the Caribbean to the Mediterranean, from the Arctic to Antarctica. Oceana's campaign-based method of ocean conservation is working. Oceana's work with the European Union, 
created a law that mandated serious jail time and substantial fines for the financiers, owners, and operators of boats that illegally dump oil. This new law could prevent as much as 20 million tons of oil and oily bilge water from seeping into the ocean every year. Oceana's research catamaran, the Ranger, identified and documented a fleet of French fishing ships using illegal gear called drift nets in the Mediterranean. The European Union, following campaigning by Oceana, shut down the drift netters. This ruling could spare as much as 25,000 juvenile bluefin tuna, a species already on the brink of extinction, from being caught and killed every year in these four to nine mile floating walls of death. On another expedition, Oceana filmed and recorded members of the largest bluefin tuna fleet, the Purse Saners, illegally fishing without licenses. This effort contributed to the European Union's decision to shut down the fishery ahead of schedule in order to try and prevent the collapse of the bluefin. In Alaska, we developed the Oceana approach which became the basis for federal regulations that now protect an area over three times the size of California from bottom trawling, industrial fishing's version of clear cutting. In California, federal officials also adopted the Oceana approach to protect another 160 million acres of ocean habitat from destructive trawling. And in the Arctic, Following years of work by Oceana and its allies, the U.S. government acted to prohibit the expansion of industrial fishing into U.S. waters north of the Bering Strait, one of the largest precautionary measures in fisheries history. Combined, these closures represent the largest area of ocean ever protected, over 640 million acres. In total, an area larger than all the national parks and forests in the United States combined. An area over one-fourth the size of the entire United States. In Miami, after a year of campaigning by Oceana, the second largest cruise line in the world, Royal Caribbean, agreed to install advanced wastewater treatment on all of its ships at an estimated cost of $100 million. This means that 29 enormous floating cities will no longer dump inadequately treated sewage from toilets, showers, and laundry into the ocean. We work to get the federal government to require fishermen to put larger escape devices on their nets so they don't accidentally catch and kill sea turtles. This saves an estimated 60,000 endangered sea turtles every year. We fought for and convinced the United States House of Representatives to pass legislation that maintains an important deadline for protecting tens of thousands of dolphins, whales, and other beloved ocean creatures from dirty fishing gears and practices. And in a move that will drastically cut mercury releases to our environment by thousands of pounds each year, five of the largest mercury polluters in the country committed to stop using technology based on mercury. Oceana also convinced more than one-third of major grocery store chains in the United States to post the U.S. Food and Drug Administration's warning to women of childbearing age and children to avoid seafood with dangerous levels of mercury. In Chile, our work led the government to commit to reducing the excessive use of antibiotics by the salmon farming industry. Chile is the second largest producer of farmed salmon in the world and uses 300 times more antibiotics than Norway, the world's largest farmed salmon producer. Oceana is beginning to turn the tide, but we need your help to win this fight and to bring our oceans back. If we fail to act now, there will not be a second chance. We can do this. We can restore the oceans. Our lives and the lives of generations to come depend on it. The Earth needs the oceans, and the oceans need oceanics.